Hello, hello, it's your girl Lucy B here with another avatar tutorial. This video is going to be about how to remove the items from your menu that you no longer need. So say you followed my custom booth model video and you deleted all items that you didn't want off of the model, but there are still items in your menu that you don't need. Well, this video is going to show you how to delete them. So they're no longer in your menu anymore. So let's just jump right into the video. So here we have this chiffon. It's a custom chiffon I made for my friend. He commissioned me. And as you can see here, it has a brand new outfit. All of her default clothing was removed. So let's go into the menu and I'll show you what I mean here. Gesture Manager Emulator. So we'll go to the expressions and we'll go to outfits. And we have all of the outfits that I added. As you can see with her original outfit, the body is animated to do these blend shapes. But since we deleted all of her original outfit, the blend shapes are still happening. But since the outfit is gone, the animations are telling it to still do these blend shapes. Now, by deleting her default costume parameters here in the menu, it will actually fix the blend shapes breaking like this as well. Not only do you get it off your menu, so they're not in the way taking up space, but also it will delete the animation that's telling the body to delete itself when the clothing is on. It still thinks that the clothing is on the model, but since we deleted it, the animation that was associated with the clothing on toggle is still on the blend shapes. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions as well below. Happy to help. But by deleting these from the menu, we can get rid of this issue. So let's go back to our outfits. We have the cat jacket. See, her arm should be popping through right here. And the blend shape is stuck in the animation of what it would look like if her default clothing was still on. So not only will it fix that problem, but it will clear up space here too. So let's get started. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into the FX layer. So click on your avatar here. In this case, we're working with chiffon blue. Scroll over here into the inspector. Scroll down and you're going to find your FX layer right here. So click on the FX layer and then double click on it here. Now I know all of this might look a little bit scary if you're not familiar with it. You'll familiarize yourself with it in time. Um, but essentially, we're going to look through all of these things and see all the things that we don't need anymore. Now, the left hand and the right hand, you always are going to want to keep these. This is so when you have expressions turned on and you move your hands in a certain way, the avatar will make cute little faces. So we're going to want to keep those. Do not mess with those. So the sailor jersey, obviously, this is where the arms are deleting because of this animation here. See, as you can see, we're in the animator by clicking on FX here. So this is showing us all of the animations in the avatar. But since the sailor jersey has been removed, we don't need this. So let's just left click and delete it. And the bottoms, we don't need those either. We deleted those. And the leg warmers. Now, the ear and the tail, we still want toggles for those. She still has her ears and tail. So we'll keep those. We deleted the socks. I like the sneakers and then the chest sliders we want to keep those too blink control that's important that gives the auto blinking feature visine control that controls her mouth when you talk so keep that and all of these options down here are just cute little options on the facial menu i like to keep these because sometimes people don't know how to use the gestures correctly or don't feel like learning them and so they can just make face expressions within this menu instead of using the gestures with your hands. I like to keep the options available. So we don't need to delete any of those. Essentially, we just need to get rid of everything else that we got rid of when we deleted her base clothing. So we're not done yet. There's a couple more steps. Now we've deleted all the correct layers of the animation. We need to delete the correct parameters as well. 
So let's go through and delete everything that we don't need. Bottoms. Oops. Bottoms, we don't need that. Like warmers, we don't need that. The jersey, delete that. Keep the ears and tail. Socks, delete. Sneakers, delete. Now, this deleted all of the animation codes within the avatar. However, the menu parameters are still on your radial menu. So we need to go in and delete those too. Let's go click on our model again. And let's go ahead and scroll down. Instead of looking at the playable layers here, we're going to look at the menu and the parameters. Let's start with the top. So click on the menu over here. Let me just make this bigger so you can see it. So let's see. It looks like costume is in a sub menu here. So let's go ahead and check out the costume menu by clicking it down here. It looks like we deleted all of these. So we can just delete this whole menu. Go back, costume, since we deleted the menu, drag it down here, delete it from here by clicking this little minus sign. Go through here, what is this? Okay, this is the chest menu, we don't need to touch that. What's this? Okay, chest menu, option, That that's all the cute little faces. And then kimono, that's just the ears and tail, so we'll keep those. And then, okay. Yep, we can keep those. Click on this one. Now, these are the expression parameters. These, This is really important for you to delete as well. Instead of just left clicking and deleting it that way, you have to like drag it down. So just drag all of the things that we don't need down. Socks, we deleted that. Leg warmer, we deleted that. Bottoms minus sign sneakers minus sign here all right and then let's click on the next one down here kimono ear kimono tail we'll keep that and then these are just the option menu which is the cute little faces that she makes so let's keep those two let's just double check Perfect. Now it looks like everything that we don't need was deleted, which is awesome. That should fix the blend shape issue too. Let's put this back to how it was. Let's go to the scene instead of the animator. And let's see if what we just did worked. Expression. Yep, all of our outfit parameters are gone here in the menu. So again, we have like these cute little faces. And then we have the chest size. Um, as you can see here, it's not syncing properly with the sweater. I'm gonna be making another video on how to do that. It's super simple with modular avatar to sync the breast blend shapes. Um, they're not working currently, but I'm keeping them there because I'm eventually going to add it to this avatar. But those are still on the menu. Options still on the menu. And then ears and tail are still on the menu. But as you can see, all of our clothing that we deleted, there's no menu parameters for them anymore. We deleted everything. And all of her blend shapes are back to normal. So let's try removing one of her outfits that I put on her. Let me just put her face back. Okay. Outfits. So let's see. It's still not fixed. Let me go into her here and see if I have anything. Yeah. So I have all of these blend shapes here changed because before I removed the default clothing, I had a version of her uploaded for my friend uh, with the default clothing still on. So these blend shapes were set in order to compensate for the things that the 
original outfit did. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm just going to put everything back to how it's supposed to be. All right, we'll try it one more time. All right, we'll see if that worked. So let's get it into play mode and then use gesture manager. So let's see. Okay, I'm already seeing here that her arm is completely fixed. And then we'll go into expressions, outfits, cat jacket. Look, her body's completely normal. We'll do the Venus sweater. Yep, that works perfectly. Cute. And then this sweater. Awesome. So all the blend shapes are fixed and all of her original outfit parameters are deleted. And then you're done. You are good to go. And that's a quick little tutorial on how to delete the animation parameters from both the avatar itself and the menu within your radial menu. If you have any questions, comments, just let me know. If you have any other video ideas, happy to help too. Join my Discord. If you ever need avatar help, just reach out. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.